Today I'd like to talk about uh, treatment options when you look at uh, irreparable rotator cuff patients or patients that have the very familiar shoulder hike when you see patients that have inability to shrug their shoulders and I've done previous uh, exercise suggestions using the uh, downward facing dog but uh, there are exercises in addition to that especially for people that cannot get down on the floor or just have a tremendous amount of weakness where they can't even elevate their shoulder to 90 degrees. The downward dog is going to help you if you can at least get to 90 degrees and then you would uh, perform that. But uh, one of the exercises that I came up with in uh, 2011 after I did some EMG work at uh, UNCG was an exercise that came from information from Dr. Jonathan Levy and they were coined the Levy exercises and Levy came up with a series of exercises that used a short lever arm versus a long lever arm. In traditional therapy exercises we do things with a long lever arm. We do pulleys and wand exercises and and wall climbs and pendulums and those are all done with a, the liver the limb is very long however daily activities such as typing driving eating combing your hair are all short lever and patients just want to get the hand to the top of their head so I want to go over some exercises that will make the deltoid muscle a two action muscle versus just a one action we've been taught in school that the deltoid is just used as a humeral head elevator but the deltoid can be used to be a humeral head compressor as described by Copeland and Levy and uh, Julich published some articles back in the early to mid 80s and as well as coming up in the early 2000s when we look at some of this literature. So I wanna show you the exercise. First of all, if we put our hands in a prayer position, you can try this at home. If you put your hands in a, in a, in a prayer without crossing your thumbs and put your fingers underneath your chin and just raise your hands to the top of your head back and forth. What I want you to do is feel what your deltoids do. Then I want you to grasp your thumbs together and squeeze your thumbs together and keep your thumbs together. That automatically causes your elbows to go out just a little bit via the grasp reflex. So if you squeeze your thumbs and then do the same thing, you can feel your deltoids working much more, okay? So that's one exercise to do. Notice how I'm not going all the way up. We just wanna do a short lever and a short arc to get the proper muscle lane tension. Kelly, who's one of our students, doctoral students from Elon, is gonna demonstrate putting her forearms on the wall with the thumbs crossed. Now, what this does is you automatically get approximation. When your forearms are on the wall, the head of the humerus goes into the glenoid fossa, which automatically causes co-contractions going on. You're also getting thoracic extension, you're getting serratus anterior activity lower, so this is even more effective than doing isolated wall push-ups, lower trapezius, you get four or five things going on with this exercise. You can even make it a core exercise with proper breathing. So Kelly's just gonna squeeze the thumbs and she's gonna slide up about six or seven inches and then back down. She's gonna repeat this for one minute and she's gonna do this six to eight times a day. If you do this six to eight times a day for three weeks, I bet you're gonna find your patients that are coming in like this, they're gonna get their arms up with a lot ease of motion, maybe even sooner than previously performed exercises. So short lever arm exercises done with approximation, getting all of that work in the scapula and thoracic spine. Try that out, let me know how you think, you like it.